The Tesla Cybertruck was supposed to be the future of trucks, bulletproof, electric, and unlike anything the world had ever seen. But now, the Tesla Cybertruck is being banned, rejected, and even impounded in countries across the globe. Major markets like the UK, the EU, China, and Australia have either refused to legalize it or outright blocked it from public roads. What went so wrong that governments are calling it dangerous, unsafe, and unfit for the streets? And what does this mean for Tesla's global dominance? Let's unravel the shocking truth behind the Cybertruck bans of 2025 and why this futuristic beast might never escape Elon Musk's showroom. In early 2025, Tesla issued a recall of over 46,000 Cybertrucks not because of software bugs or minor glitches, but because their stainless steel panels were literally falling off during normal driving. Highways, parking lots, city streets, owners reported trim pieces detaching mid-drive, posing a serious hazard to other vehicles. The NHTSA launched a formal probe, and Tesla was forced to pause all deliveries. The truck that was marketed as bulletproof is now breaking apart in traffic. And that was just the beginning of its global downfall. In January 2025, headlines exploded. Tesla Cybertrucks had been impounded by police in Manchester for being illegal to drive on UK roads. The reason? The truck's sharp stainless steel panels are considered a danger to pedestrians. It lacks a certificate of conformity. Its lighting is non-compliant and the truck's sheer weight violates vehicle standards. The UK has strict pedestrian safety regulations and the Cybertruck failed almost all of them. Even worse, Tesla hadn't officially homologated the vehicle for Europe. So, private buyers trying to import it? Their Cybertrucks are now stuck, or worse, confiscated. The EU has some of the strictest safety regulations in the world, and the Cybertruck failed most of them right out of the gate. Its razor sharp steel panels, lack of crumple zones, and absence of traditional side mirrors are all red flags. In places like the Netherlands and Germany, regulators said it wouldn't pass type approval. One creative workaround? In the Czech Republic, a few owners rubberized the exterior of their Cybertrucks just to make them pedestrian safe. But even then, those are exception cases, not market-wide approvals. China, the largest EV market on the planet, refused to certify the Cybertruck for domestic roads. Officials pointed to safety concerns. The unpainted metal, high center of gravity, and lack of pedestrian protections made the truck a no-go. With China's rapidly urbanizing cities and tightly regulated auto industry, the Cybertruck was seen not as innovation, but as a hazard on wheels. Despite Tesla's huge presence in Shanghai, the Cybertruck hasn't even been put up for pre-order in China. Down under, the Cybertruck is also facing regulatory hurdles. The biggest issues? No crash testing approval in Australia and no right-hand drive RHD version available. Plus, the Cybertruck's size and weight far exceed what most urban areas are designed to accommodate. Australian safety agencies have warned that the truck's presence could lead to increased accidents, especially in pedestrian heavy zones. Tesla has made no public effort to localize the truck for the Australian market, and local EV experts say it's not coming anytime soon. In Japan, size matters, and not in a good way. The Cybertruck is simply too wide for Japanese roads, parking, garages, and even highway lanes in some areas. Add to that Japan's strict emission and noise regulations, and you've got a formula for rejection. There's no legal way to register a Cybertruck in Japan without extensive modifications. Given the country's emphasis on compact, quiet, and clean vehicles, the Cybertruck's Blade Runner on steroids look makes it the exact opposite of what Japan wants on its streets. South Korea is one of the most tech-forward nations in Asia, 
but it's also intensely focused on environmental safety and road efficiency. Regulators pointed out the Cybertruck's battery-heavy footprint, oversized frame, and unconventional materials as major concerns. Tesla has not yet applied for local compliance tests in South Korea. Many industry experts believe it won't be allowed to launch there unless Tesla redesigns it entirely. India's roads are chaotic, narrow, and crowded. Conditions that are the polar opposite of what the Cybertruck was designed for. Add to that, India's 100% import tax and the truck's cost would double. Not to mention, it fails several Bharat Stage BES safety regulations, making it both impractical and technically illegal. Even Elon Musk hinted that Cybertruck may never come to India unless a localized version is made, which is unlikely. Tesla originally promised an optional range extender battery pack for long haul. Drivers, an extra $16,000 add-on. But in 2025, they quietly canceled the feature, issuing refunds without much explanation. With actual tested ranges falling far below Elon's initial promises, this cancellation adds more doubt about the truck's real-world usability. Customers were furious, and the trust in Tesla's futuristic claims took another hit. The Cybertruck has a loyal cult following, but even hardcore Tesla fans are now questioning their faith. Social media is filled with memes, criticism, and debates. Some see it as a bold vision crippled by poor execution. Others still believe it will shine once version 2.0 launches. Reviewers from Top Gear and Motor Trend labeled it more of a concept art piece than a daily driver. The vehicle is becoming more of a status symbol for influencers than a solution for everyday drivers. What Tesla forgot is that cars don't just exist in garages, they exist on streets, in cities, and under laws. And in those spaces, the Cybertruck doesn't fit. It doesn't fit physically. It doesn't fit legally. It doesn't even fit environmentally in some countries. With more adaptable electric trucks like the Ford F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, and BYD pickups on the rise, the Cybertruck may be outpaced, despite its hype. So what do you think should Tesla redesign the Cybertruck for the real world? Or was this whole stainless steel fantasy doomed from the start? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more brutally honest takes on the future of cars, tech, and EVs.